Hello again, everyone. Random Canuck here. Okay, so now that we have the WHL trade video out of the way, we got the trip to Banff, or the weekend trip to Banff video out of the way. I want to show you what I got from uh, Rocky Mountain Soap Company. Yes, I got more soap. Uh, sorry about the light, but uh, Sarah's going to bed. So just the way it is, I know this is very poor quality video. Uh, and very grainy is the light in the office. It's terrible. Um, I don't know if it's missing a light bulb or if it's just really dirty. I am planning on getting a ring light down the road, but for now, this is just the way it goes. So I got some soaps from Rocky Mountain Soap Company. So this is going to be a quick little video. I'm also going to quickly show you what Sarah uh, got. Uh, Sarah wanted me to show you guys. She just didn't want to be in the video because she's tired. She's did a lot of long day today, lots of driving this weekend, so she wants to rest. So we're gonna start off with the small guys. So I'm just gonna put these off to the side. And again, this is from the Rocky Mountain Soap Company, their store in uh, Banff. Uh, again, I still like O Canada Soap Works, but these are my uh, second guy choices. Of soap. So the first one I'm going to start off with is this one's cedar wood and fir. So it is really nice smell. Uh, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that, but oh, it smells it smells like a Christmas tree. Um, and it's simple natural ingredients. I know you're not going to be able to see that very well. Uh, but it's got uh, coconut oil, olive oil, shea butter, sunflower oil, cedar, uh, yeah, cedar wood oil, uh, fir needles, uh, blue corn, and organic, okay, ideal for combination skin, whatever that is. Uh, it's GMO free, it's vegan, and it's tested only on people, not animals, made by hand in the Canadian Rockies. So the Rocky Mountain Soap Company is actually based out of Canmore, which is about four kilometers from Banff. Not very far. Oh, that smells so good. This might be one of the first ones I try. Yeah, cedarwood and fir. Definitely smells like a Christmas tree. Um, I'm just going to put that back in the bag. All right, next one. Seaweed and spearmint. Now, I was a little skeptical when I first saw the 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 uh yeah so seaweed and uh s yeah seaweed and spearmint i was a little skeptical when i saw the the label but it actually smells really good um smells more like mint or smells more like spearmint than seaweed um uh, again coconut oil olive oil shea butter sunflower oil spearmint uh kelp powder and it's ideal for normal skin. So that doesn't smell as bad as what I originally thought. Uh, this one is a cleanse. And it's, again, very minty. It's very minty. So all of them, all the ones I got have a mint scent to them. Uh, this is coconut oil, olive oil, shea butter, sunflower oil, cedar wood bark, spearmint plant, Geranium, um, balsam fir needles, rosemary leaves, sweet fennel seed, uh, patchouli leaf, uh, and a couple other ones that aren't so organic. But you know what? I just like the smell, and it's just called cleanse. Again, smells really good, and again, smells very minty. All right, second last one. This is a uh, minty tea tree. Oh, that smells so good. So this is minty tea tree. Again, sorry if you can't see that. And we got coconut oil, olive oil, shea butter, sunflower oil, uh, joba esters. I don't know what that is. Peppermint leaves, eucalyptus leaf, tea leaf. So, yeah, smells very, very good and minty. Then I did pick up one big bar. This is called Grove Soap. It's balsam fir and cedar wood. Oh yeah, that smells like a Christmas tree, 100%. So 
you can compare the sizes in the two. One's this isn't Rocky Mountain Soap Company. Oh, it is Rocky Mountain Soap Company. It's just the more bigger bar, and it's more of a premium bar. You can just see the size of the two. Um, so this is coconut oil, olive oil, shea butter, sunflower oil, rosemary leaf oil, cedar wood bark oil, peppermint leaf oil, balsam fir needles, uh, patchouli leaf oil, yarrow flower oil, and yeah, it's, oh, it is absolutely amazing. I think I'm going to save this one a little bit till last, use the smaller ones, but I got enough soap now and everything, but yeah. This, oh, that smells so good. Anyways, so what Sarah got was a couple of things. One in this nice little baggie here. And this is a, might be a little hard to open. Nope, there we go. Well, that's, that's a glass bottle. This is Groove Balsam Fur Cedarwood Hand Lotion. So it's the same like the soap I got, but it's in a hand lotion. Excuse me. And uh, warm one to two pumps of this rich lotion between your hands and gently massage into skin. So um, I'm going to take a whiff here very carefully. Yeah, smells just like the uh, soap. It's a little bit different of a smell, but it's still really good. So there's the lotion there that Sarah got. Come, came in this nice little baggie here, so I'm going to put that back in the bag for her. We just had to get a little souvenir from our weekend, so. And then finally she got this uh, group balsam hand wash. So it's it's a liquid hand wash. It's not a foam one. I, I don't like the foam. It dries my hands, but this stuff, if it's pure liquid, I don't have an issue. Um, you only need one or two pumps uh, uh, and you're good to go. So anyway, there you have it. Uh, just a little video on the uh, souvenirs we got on our weekend trip to Banff. Anyways, I'm going to be heading to bed now. It's been a busy weekend, long day, and I work tomorrow. And I'm, I'm probably going to be working till 10 o'clock tomorrow night. So uh, I need to get some rest. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. This has been the Random Canuck. We'll talk to you later, guys. Bye for now.